Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making the best homemade pan pizza from scratch. To start this all off, you will first need to make your dough. Now, for the purposes of our pizza, we are making two 12 inch pizzas. And for that, we will need four cups of flour. So to this, I have just added two and a half teaspoons of instant yeast. Because this is instant yeast, you don't actually have to put it into warm milk or water to have the yeast work. You add this directly to the flour. However, we will need to mix this for at least two minutes so that it can get into the dough. Now, in order for the yeast to make, to actually make the yeast work really well and to give us a nice puffy dough, we are going to be adding to this one tablespoon of sugar because this acts as the food for the yeast to grow. And lastly, we're now going to be adding, after two minutes of letting the yeast mix with the dough, we are now going to be adding one tablespoon of salt to season the dough. We are now going to be putting into this about a cup and a half of, half of it which is warm milk and another half that is water and we're going to warm this. You don't want this too hot because it's actually going to kill the yeast. So we're going to be putting it in gently. Now I'm mixing my dough with a dough hook attachment and I'm going to doing this using a stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, no problem. Just use it your hand. It just takes a little bit longer, but it turns out just as good. Now, as you can see, you know that your dough is working out well when the dough hook is starting to bring all of your ingredients together. All right, so you can see that the base of the bowl is now completely clean. To this, we are now going to add three tablespoons of oil. Now you can see this beautiful dough when I bring it down. You can see how it's completely around the dough hook. It is done. And you can also see how nice and soft it is. All right, so now we have our dough that's ready to go. This is the amount that we've put together for two 12 inch pizzas. For the pan, the way we do this, you can use a cast iron pan, you can use a regular pan, cake pan, it doesn't matter. But what you do want to do is you want to ensure that you want to have that crispy base and ooey gooey cheese on the top. The way you're going to accomplish this is you're actually going to add about three tablespoons of oil to your cast iron or pan pots that are about 12 inches. And you just want to make sure it's well spread out on the base, which I will get to in just a second. For this, we're going to have to roll it out. So I have an assistant today who's going to be helping me with this. Zina, you want to come? All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to take the dough and we're going to split it exactly in half. There's no science to this. You just want to make sure it's roughly half by weight. And Zina is going to start rolling the dough out. Now remember, this is so well kneaded that you actually don't need any extra flour. But if it is too sticky, just dust extra flour on and then you just roll it out that way so it doesn't keep sticking to your mat. All right, so Zina, you're gonna roll this out and you're gonna roll it out approximately to 12 inches. All right, so now that this is rolled out, we're adding this to the pan where we added the oil. And to cover this, we are going to be adding foil paper. So now you can see that after an hour and a half, the pizza has, the dough has risen about twice double in size. So it now looks like this. It's covering the entire pan and it's elevated. To this, you are now going to add your toppings. So in for my children, they only like cheese pizza. So we're going to make this a plain cheese pizza. So for that, you're going to take any 
pizza sauce. You need approximately three tablespoons of the sauce. And because my kids don't like the edges or the crust very much, I actually go all the way to the edges. If you like more pizza sauce or uh, sauce on the pizza, then you go right ahead and add more tomato sauce. You like less, you add less, everything to your liking. All right, so as you can see, I've added it all along the edges. Right, and now to this, it's, I've grated approximately 600 grams of cheese. You will notice that because this is a deeper dish or a pan pizza, you will require more cheese. But if you want to make this less cheesy, that's your choice. I don't see why you would do that, but I'm going to add a lot of cheese to this. Again, covering the edges. Now, I know you're thinking this is a lot of cheese, but trust me, once this is cooked, the dough to cheese ratio will be pretty accurate. While I'm doing this, I've actually set the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. You want that oven to be preheated so that as soon as this goes in, it starts baking. Now, to this, I'm adding an Italian spice blend. You can get this at stores. It's pre-made. They just add about two pinches or so to this. So we're going to add a good amount. Whatever you want is what you'd add to this. To add our cheese. All right, so to this, I have now also added the Italian spice blend. Again, if you have it and if you want to add it, you can. I normally do this before I put on the toppings. And we're just going to put this on in a somewhat organized way. So it's kind of evenly distributed. And I also have these hot pepper jalapeno blend, which again, can't already tell, we love spice. Tomatoes, and a little more olives. And there you go. So now this is also going to go into the oven at 425, and will take approximately 15 minutes to make. On my left, I actually have the one that I cooked in the cast iron pot or pan. And this one here to my right is the one that I made in a regular cake pan to show you the difference if you even notice it when you're using that to make this pan pizza. So if you actually take a look at this, if you look at the base, it's nice and crispy. And if you actually compare this, it's also quite crispy. All right, guys. So here's our final product. We have our cheese pizza and we have our vegetarian pan pizzas. If you look at the bottom, they're so nice and crispy. Look at these babies. Please try this recipe. Um, if you like it, I'd love to hear about how your pizzas turned out after you followed it. Um, you please leave a comment at the bottom. Let me know how it turned out, whether you liked my recipe or not. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, and I hope to see you next week with a brand new recipe. Thank you.